blitz and a happy uh, 1492 to everybody. Chris Berman with Tom Jackson. Tom, I know you follow football a little bit. Had you heard that the T.O. and the Cowboys were at Philly? Did really? You know that? I heard maybe something that, vague. That was on Sunday. Something vague. It was on Sunday. Well, it was a late kickoff for first place in the NFC East between the Eagles and Cowboys. T.O. used to play Philly. Now he plays Dallas. Everybody in Philadelphia knew, and a late kickoff allowed everybody to get those chants and whatever else ready at the lake. So here we go with our main event, if you will. Terrell Owens back in Philadelphia. You know what kind of reception. If they boo the Easter Bunny and Santa, what do you think this was? Sounded like a European soccer match, to be honest with you. Many of the chances. Donovan McNabb came out to a hero's welcome. Each team turning the ball over early, and then again a turnover. Brian Dawkins. As uh, Drew Bledsoe hit as he throws, and Brian Dawkins makes the pick. Yeah, Darren Howard in that front four putting pressure on the quarterback all day. So Terrell Owens already on the offensive line. What about better protection? Not the way to go after it. The Eagles lead at 10-7, and Greg Ellis fumble to Marcus Ware. Could go all the way. L.J. Smith, they got to do better than that on the tackle. 69-yard touchdown, 14-10. How about them Cowboys? Now, Philly has scored to lead at 17-14. Third and one, Dallas. Bledsoe to Terry Glenn, whoop, makes the turn, 15 yards first down. Third and nine, Drew Bledsoe to Terry Glenn, 19 yards, three straight third down conversions, Dallas. None to T.O. here, late in the second quarter. Second and goal, Bledsoe, and he ran the ball tough a couple of times, bang! Whoa. Beats everybody in the corner. Touchdown, T.O. no catches first half, but the Bill Parcells Cowboys lead 21-17 halftime. Opening minute, third quarter. Bledsoe to Terrell Owens, there's his first catch. Nine yard pickup. Later in the drive, third and one. Darren Howard, that front seven or eight that Andy Reid plays and rotates. Howard makes a big play on Marion Barber. Yeah, the defensive front, we knew it was gonna be about stopping the run and then putting that pressure on the quarterback, and that's exactly what they were able to do. Eagles down 21-17, and say hey! It's a basket catch for Hank Basket. He sheds Pat Watkins. Gone! 87 yards, 24-21, Philadelphia. Who's not happy? Late in the third quarter, Cowboys, their own 28. Bledsoe looking for Owens, but T.O. can't get the handle on it. What do you think this reaction yeah, was? You know, you take a look at it again. It's hard to get into a rhythm. You're not getting the football. You're not getting the catches. You know, frustrated. You drop that ball. You know, he certainly didn't want to drop it. But, boy, is he starting to feel a little frustrated right now. Fourth quarter, we're tied at 24. Corral Buckholder. It's a flea flicker. Back to McNabb. To Reggie Brown. Beats two Dallas defenders. McNabb perfect on the long ball. 31-24 Philadelphia. Then... Bledsoe looking for the tie and score. Lobs one up to Owens for a first down. Later in the drive. Tick, tick, tick. Seven and a half to go. Third and two. Bledsoe for Owens. But Lito Shepard makes the pick. And there's that sight on the sidelines. Unsightly. 217 left. Cowboys down by a touchdown. 31-24, fourth and four. Bill Parcells goes for it. And Bledsoe rewards the gamble. Patrick Creighton catches first down. Buck 24 to go. Here comes Howard. Darwin Walker had three sacks. Here's Howard with a big sack of Bledsoe at the 27-yard line. Fourth and 18. It's going to be over. Were you surprised the way Philly played this defense? Well, you, you know, they had gone after him all day. Now they go with the four-man rush. He gets a little time, and he throws up a ball, and you never know what can happen, boom. Well, here's what happens. Terry Glenn has a chance. Michael Lewis called correctly for, for uh, interference. And how about that? Dallas is in position for the tying touchdown. There it is, no question. Yeah, no question it was interference. 57-yard penalty, 38 seconds to go. First and goal, Dallas from the six. Looking for T.O., and it is incomplete. Joselio Hansen with good coverage here. And then 32 seconds to go, the play. Second and goal. And Bledsoe's going to find T.O. right here. Except it's L-I-T-O. Lito. Oh, oh, oh. One more for the road. Lito Shepard. Good. Go. Oh. The way 102 yards for the sealer for the backbreaker. 
Shepard, who's been hurt, makes the play. There's Coach Andy Reid. What an emotional time for all of Philly, and he read it to the corner. Yeah, take a look at Terry Glenn going in inside. You've got Jason Witten going outside. Bledsoe looks for Witten right there, who really can't get to the ball, and Lito makes a great play on the ball, and just get to the other end zone as quickly as you can. Give Barber credit. He almost chased him down, but it was done. Donovan McNabb threw for 354 yards. Terrell Owens jawing. Steam coming off head. Round one to Philadelphia. They play Christmas, but for now, it's the Eagles that had Christmas on Columbus Day weekend. They win it 38-24 in a game that saw, well, the team's coming out so amped that there were lots of turnovers early, but McNabb settled in, and afterwards, let's go to both corners of this heavyweight fight. Our defense just prevailed, and they did a good job on the line, goal line, and you know, Lito Shepard, they ended off that way. Big, big players make big plays at big times, and Lito's definitely a uh, a result of that. You know, we had a, a blitz on, and I was able to read the quarterback, and, you know, he threw it pretty much right to me. So I was able to make a play, take it in for the score. Pressure always affects quarterbacks like it affected their quarterback when we were able to get it, which wasn't enough. That's a play we've run a lot of times, and uh, uh, it's just, a, uh, I guess, a miscommunication between Jason and myself where uh, he broke in, and I thought he was coming out. No, there wasn't confusion. I think, I think I'm not sure whether Jason double-crossed him or not. But he's supposed to come back down, and I don't know whether he did or not. I mean, I'm frustrated. We we just we just lost, man. So you know, that, I mean, we lost. Like I said, we lost. Um, I'm a competitor. I do not like to lose. And I felt like we had some opportunities uh, there at the end of the ball game to tie the ball game, um, possibly put this game in overtime. So yeah, I, I was frustrated. Whew.